Hello everyone, my name's David, and I'm going on a day trip with a bunch of virgins. White horse virgins, that is. Eth on the DL250 over my shoulder there, and myself have been to White Horse many a time. But my good friend Olympic on the Honda CBF190R on the left, and my other friend Andrew Lennerton on the generic Chinese 150cc scooter, uh, who's trailing his feet on the floor for some unknown reason, uh, they haven't been there. Or rather, I should correct myself. Olympic has been there a couple of times hiking. Ethan and I have been there several times to the plunge pools and swimming area. And we've always wanted to go hiking. And in fact, we even tried it one time, um, but found a bunch of dead ends. So uh, we did a trade. Olympic was going to take us to a trailhead and show us where he'd hiked before. And we were going to take him to the swimming pools because he was totally unaware of them. We had to cleft our way through these seething hordes of hikers. Uh, a hiking tour group is obviously a good sign that you're heading to the right destination, uh, but a bad sign that the trail may be full of uh, people. And uh, there's nothing worse than people when you're hiking. Some people might say uh, grizzly bears, but for me, it's people. Anyway, he took us to the exact spot we'd tried before, which was uh, interesting. And uh, while we were chatting, the world and his dog turned up with uh, loud music and shouting and screaming and uh, posting on social media and the likes. And uh, on that particular occasion, I wasn't feeling it. So I rode off. Uh, we did find out from those guys that you can start and end a loop hike from that point. So uh, that'll be a video in the future. If you want to see it, do subscribe right about now. Now, this place had changed. Last time I was here, it was just a gravel car park and a scummy old white building. And uh, they've turned it into what appears to be quite an impressive glamping setup. Hey, stop. We can't go there? Wow. Yes, uh, that was the good news. We could still go to the plunge pools and the price of parking hadn't changed. About 50p, less than a dollar. And the extra good news on today was that there were no other people there. So we could just go to the first pool, which is normally a little crowded. This pool has a great little ledge on the left there for jumping off of. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna ruddy jump off it, aren't you? Ethan and I were straight in with the shenanigans, um, but Olympic and Andy were a little bit perturbed, uh, worried about the water temperature. Perfect. Don't tell them, mate. Don't tell them. That's right. If someone hasn't jumped in yet and they ask you about the water temperature, the correct answer is perfect. Get yourself in. And uh, it was quite a nice surprise today. Uh, Olympic, our good friend, he, uh, he'd never jumped off anything into water before. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to say that again. He'd never jumped off anything into water. He didn't tell us until after this first oh. jump of the day that it actually was the first jump of his life, uh, which blew my well mind, done. because I feel like that's the purpose of uh, childhood, isn't it? To jump off stuff, ideally into water. Anyway, he was having a whale of a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. I'm alive. I'm alive. And that's a, uh, a great thing about uh, this uh, adventurous kind of pursuits, trying to find nice spots and interesting places. Well, the best part is sharing it with your mates, isn't it? Anyway, uh, the fun and frolics were had and it was time for me to do my Man Plus River bit. Uh, Man Plus River, if you don't know who he is, look him up on YouTube. He's a bit of a geezer. Swims around rivers in Texas, always finding the very latest iPhone. Uh, not sure how he manages to find an iPhone every single time, uh, but good videos nonetheless. Give him a watch. I'm clearly some sort of budget version, so all I found was two cans of Pepsi. Ethan was suspicious that they weren't floating, but it didn't bother me. Um, should a sealed can of Pepsi float or not? Answers in the comments. So yeah, we uh, were pretty much done with the swimming. I was pretty happy with my haul. 
So much so that I did a loop the loop. Just for the fans of my uh, fighter pilot moves, I suppose. Yeah, and uh, a good day was had by all, and it only really remained to uh, sample the goods. See, that is a bonus right there that I sprayed ah. you in the face. <laughs> That's That was worth pulling them off the bottom just for that. It's your reward. I've got to go for a sniff test first. Yeah, sniff it test. Smells like Pepsi. Let's go for it. <sighs> Perfect. Are you sniff testing yours as well? Huh? Yeah. Reliable, the old sniff test, isn't it? What's Big Heath going to make of this? Uh, the look of sheer pleasure. <laughs> what do you think? See, you come out for a little trip with Uncle Davo. You get a free Pepsi. You get a free Pepsi. Mm. Boom! <laughs> You're welcome. So uh, all that remained was to uh, pack up and get on our way back home. If you haven't taken a motorcycle trip to a plunge pool, and found Pepsis on the bottom and then drank them recently, then what are you doing with your life? Get yourself out there!